Welcome back to the channel. I'm back. I'm back here at Kevin's Liquor Store in Lexington, Tennessee. Now today, today we are going to do something different. I have a hundred dollar bill. Yes, a hundred dollar bill. And I'm going to into Kevin's and I'm going to see what I can get for a hundred dollars. So let's go into Kevin's and let's see if we can find some good bottles at some great prices. Let's go. So let's talk about what we came to talk about, and that is going to be bourbon. Jim Bean Devil's Cut, Woofer Double Oak, very, very good pour, very good pour. Matter of fact, um, if you're going to try the Woofer Double Oak, which I suggest that you do, try to find a store pick, because every store pick that I have tasted was very good and the Knob Creek. If you're going to try a Knob Creek, try to pick out a store pick because again, all the store picks that I have tried are pretty decent. We have the Jim Breen, the Chattanooga Bottled and Bun, 100 proof, and the Straight Bourbon, Cash Strength, 111 proof. The Evan Williams bottle and bun. I'm not going to buy it today. I'm not. But this is my opinion. One of the best, as I say, one of the best bottles of bourbon that you can buy for under twenty dollars. We have our Russell's Reserve six year old, a ninety proof bottle. Wild Turkey one on one. Pretty decent pour for the price. Again, we are just going down the row here, trying to find something we can buy for under $100. It might be one bottle, it might be multiple bottles. But I don't see any prices on the top shelf, so let's drop to the bottom because I see prices here. We have the Maker's Mark. Maker's Mark French Oat, 46, $45. We have the smoke wagons. Respond to bourbon. Penelope. Penelope toasted. That's a great bottle here. We have the small batch of the four roses. Thanks, sir. We have a single barrel of the four roses. Castle and Key. I like the bottle. This is a pretty decent bottle. I like the top there. Pretty decent bottle, $46. Sitting in 102 proof. We have the basils with the belt. Again, okay, the Chattanooga whiskey's here. We have a 91 proof, 35. 111 proof, 47. And again, 100 proof, 57, the bottle and bun. Angel's Envy. I'm going to wait till I get to Kentucky. And I think what we are going to try to do is bottle our own Angel's Envy. I think that would be pretty cool. So look out for that. We have an Evan Williams single barrel, $40, 1783, 20. The big bottle, 34. Let's give over one of the best bottles you can buy for under $20. We have 1876. Don't know too much about this one. Sitting at an 85 proof for $30. Old Granddad 114, 39. Woodenville. We have a $40, $38, and 47. All three say they drink at a 90 proof. We have a Noble Oak. for $37.79. Uncle Nearest, I did a video of a Uncle Nearest single burrow 
one of my first videos um i think it's a great bottle matter of fact i picked up a uncle nearest 777 anniversary bottle and i cannot wait to actually open that one up cannot wait we have the benchmarks down here and we have a duke now i've seen this is aged five years i've seen this bottle but not this cheap 36 dollars never seen it that cheap let's see what they have behind the shelf because a lot of stores have the allocated bottles behind the counter um so i know they do because i've been in this store plenty of times so let's go back up front and see what they have on their allocated shelf let's go hey go go play country music <laughs> we have a forbidden back there the Willet. We have a Willet green top. The Calumet. Hey, Google, play country music. Google, you better play that country music. <laughs> we got a whistle yeah, pig. She, she don't listen to you. Google, stubborn, huh? Yeah, yes. I'll do it all day. Well, when you wake up. <laughs> they have a George Dickel back there in a Blanton's. They have an Elmer's T. Lee. Uh, hopefully you can see those prices back there because I do not want to go behind the counter because I do not want to get arrested. So hopefully you can see those prices. They have a large... Uh -oh. They have a Larceny Burrow Proof and a Woodford 121. They have a Jack Daniels Sinatra 1792. Buffalo Trace, a Weller Special Reserve and an Eagle Rare and an Elijah Craig Burrow Proof. Now the Eagle Rare sits in at a $44, not a bad price. Not a bad price for the Eagle Rare. And a lot of people say the Eagle Rare is allocated um, where they're from. So when I always see an Eagle Rare, if it's a decent price, I pick it up. I'm leaving Kevin's Liquor Store here in Lexington, Tennessee. And I think I did a pretty decent job because I am walking away with $10.04 in my pocket. Yes, $10.04 in my pocket. And I bought two bottles. But before we get to the bottles that I bought, I want you to do one thing. Check out the shirt. Check out the shirt. What you think about the t-shirt? A little old fashioned. I think it's pretty cool. But let's get back to business. The two bottles that I picked up, the first bottle is going to be, if you guess the Eagle Rare, you're right. Every time I see an Eagle Rare at a great price or a decent price, I picked one up. This one was $44. Hey, you cannot go wrong with the Eagle Rare. Plus, they make good gifts. Yes, sir, they do. The second bottle I'm walking away with. Now, this is gonna surprise you because it surprised me. Because the last time I seen this particular bottle, I think it was way more than what I paid for it. And I always was curious about this bottle. And that is, if you guess the Duke, you're right. Now, I've seen this bottle probably $60, $70, and I, I got this bottle for $36 today. I don't think it's a bad price considering what I have seen it for, and it is a five-year-old bottle of bourbon, and I'm excited about uh, the Duke because I always wanted one, and now I have one. For those who haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit that like and subscribe button because I'm asking for your support. I'm trying to get my numbers up and the only way I can do that is with your support. So please do that. But for those who have already subscribed, I appreciate your support. Until then, I will see you on my next hunt. Let's go.